I'm going to be demonstrating several ways that you can get alkaline ionized water with um, loaded with uh, molecular hydrogen, which is uh, being researched presently, and a lot of different researchers are showing that it's a powerful antioxidant that helps literally every organ in the body. So uh, it, this is this is uh, really really important, and you should read the link below this video. But just for the purposes of this video, I'm going to be demonstrating different ways that you can get molecular hydrogen, and it's not expensive. All right, the first way is I've I've put one of these tablets in each of these two containers and it's fizzling away now and I'm just waiting till it stops fizzing and then I'll, I'll be testing that. The next way is right over here I'm going to put just plain tap water into this filter. Now this you can see the picture behind it or can you? I'm not sure. Alright so that picture right there is um, is basically composed the filtering device in the pitcher is this bin and the filter screwed into it so for the purposes of this test I'm just going to stick some water in there and uh, let it filter and I'm going to then test that once it's done filtering okay the next uh, device that produces molecular hydrogen is uh, in the middle right here uh, this is called the Smart 7P water ionizer and I'm just going to go ahead and turn some water on to it. And I'll grab a sample of that and then I'm going to test that. So basically I'll start with just testing that ready to test and the first thing I'm going to do is um, put a probe in there that will show what's called the oxidation reduction potential. Now that's just a, a fancy way of saying antioxidants. That is quite a high number and um, this this machine produces that uh, at, you know regularly. All right now uh, I'm just for the sake of another test, <laughs> I'm just going to show you what the pH value of that water is. Should be about 9.5. Yeah, so it's about 9.5. Okay, <clears throat> so now, uh, now I'm going to use this reagent and it's, it's called the um, H2 Blue Hydrogen Test Reagent. Alright, now, um, let me just rinse this out, make sure it's, it's good. Okay, so I'm going to put some of this sample in here, up to the line. Okay, and then I'm going to put drops now of this reagent, and um, each drop is, or each is a tenth of a part per million, so three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, so 10 drops is a part per million. Now that is um, the research that I was talking about that is uh, showing H2 uh, or molecular hydrogen levels uh, having a positive impact on every organ in the body. Um, the, the amount of hydrogen in the water that the researchers used was somewhere between 0.5 and 1.5 parts per million. So that's one. So let's do two. I'm gonna. I just want to see how far this will go. 
three, four, five. So, and that's that's basically um, what we're seeing here. And I, yeah, uh, what we're seeing here is about as powerful as it can get. Literally, <laughs> I mean, let me see if I can go one more drop. I don't, I don't think a machine has been shown to go higher than the 1.5, but I could be wrong. All right, anyway, it didn't go higher, but I'll leave that there in case there are still a few antioxidants uh, left to neutralize. This is basically an oxidizing agent, and in the water are antioxidants. So when you, when you put the oxidizing agent in the water, it will ne be neutralized by antioxidants until it's saturated. And that's how you, how this particular thing works. Okay, so now um, the next thing I'm going to show you is, uh, well, I, I've got this filtered. Why don't I go ahead and show you that? Okay, now this is called the Alkaline Plus pH Pitcher. And, um, and uh, hold on, I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of this. It's, it didn't uh, neutralize anymore. So that, so it's 1.5 was the, uh, the amount on that, which is, uh, you know, just honestly, just fantastic. All right, so now I'm going to test this water here. This is um, just, uh, been filtered with the pitcher. First, looking at the antioxidants, and that that is quite a good number there for the uh, antioxidants or the ORP. So um, let's take a look now at the pH of this water. Okay. Oops. So it looks like a 9.7 pH, similar to the other one. And um, now we're going to test the drops to see the uh, medical grade of high, actual molecular hydrogen and put it up to the line. Oops, wait a minute, let me just. Uh, rinse this further. Make sure it's completely rinsed. Oops, did too much. Okay, that's up to the line. Now I'm just going to add some drops. Okay, it looks like it's neutralizing it, but let me double check. You know, it's kind of um, probably 0.5, I'll call it, or not 0 0.5, 0 0.05, because it really didn't quite, one drop, which would be 0 0.1, uh, didn't quite neutralize the whole thing. So it's a little bit less than a drop. So as far as the... Uh, antioxidants is high in antioxidants. I mean, we can see that with the ORT, ORP meter, but for um, the actual molecular hydrogen, which is the purpose of this particular test, it it was good. I mean, it had a little effect on that drop, but it wasn't. It was. I mean, it was nothing like the other one. All right. So now these are pretty much done and I'm going to show you this one was using tap water I'll take a sample first of this one this is the messiest way to do it but you, know, I mean, you can probably just use a regular cup or whatever and, and and just do it that way I suppose all right so the first thing I'm gonna do uh, the reason why I did this in a mason jar was I, I just wanted to give it the benefit of the doubt that it was as good as could be. 
So that that's quite high for the antioxidants, just with the one little pill. <laughs> now you wouldn't just swallow that pill, believe me, you would definitely not do that. Um, and then let me look at the pH on it. Okay, so it, you know, honestly, it, it really just isn't. You know, I mean, it's 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 not as high of a pH as the other one. All right, so now I'm going to do the um, molecular hydrogen test on it. I'm just going to rinse this vial just with some of this sample first, just to rinse out the other solution. And now I'll fill it to the line. Okay. Alrighty, now put some drops in. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. This is actually pretty incredible because all you did was put one little pill in a cup. Eight. I'm just going to swish it for a sec. That's still neutralizing it. Nine. It's getting close. All right, so it's, it was it was about eight and a half, I think. All right, so 0.85, which is just quite incredible, uh, seeing that it was it was simply a uphill added to the water. One note, though, about it is that out of all of the waters. Um, this and this and the other one we're about to test all taste like water actually they taste like good water good clean water this one uh, tastes kind of like um, like you added uh, <laughs> the pill to it and uh, it, it has a, um, a weird kind of a weird taste almost like you added baking soda to the water only of course not baking soda it's got magnesium instead of calcium or uh, instead of sodium but I mean, it's you know I suppose you could get used to it or put flavoring in it <clears throat> but I would have a hard time with that because of the taste all right I'm gonna do this other one with the um, with the reverse osmosis water just to see does it even do anything because usually reverse osmosis water is harder to ionize but um, it's it's pretty much harder to ionize in a an ionizer like an electric one but with the pill added it did do it so you can see the ORP is you know pretty similar to the other one and then let me see what the pH on it is it's usually RO water is uh, and it looks you know about eight it's a, it actually raised the pH and it um, raised the ORP let me see about the taste Yeah, it's definitely got this weird kind of magnesium taste to it. So I, I you know, I'd have a hard time with it. Um, the other thing that I wanted to kind of direct your attention to is this device back here. Now I'm going to take a sample from that, and that's called the alkaline uh, ionizer purifier energizer. And um, let me just Ooh. all right. 
So now, amongst all of my containers here, I will stick this in the forefront. And um, I'm just going to wash this out. Okay, so the 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 fil the picture that I demonstrated first and this device are the most similar to each other because they're non-electric filtering type of ionizers. I'm going to show you the um, ORP first, which is is qu quite high. Um, so it it's a uh, it's basically a filter. It's a it's a, a quite a good filter, as a matter of fact. It'll filter almost everything out of the water. It's just uh, pretty amazing. Um, but um, you can read more about that on the in the article. But it's it it's got a almost nine pH. And um, let's take a look at. Um, the testing the uh, <laughs> a sample of it. I'm going to just rinse this container with the actual sample itself to make sure it's cleaned out of the other liquid. Oops, went too far. Okay. All right. So let's see how many drops we can get of this. Okay. So one drop neutralized, which makes this one actually better than the pitcher. Looks like two drops neutralized. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll keep on going. Okay, three drops neutralized. See if it did four. No. So it it uh, is like a point oh three, which is actually quite good, and um, to, especially for a filtering only device, which does not use electricity to pump the um, hydrogen into the water. Okay. So what we've got here is a lot of different products that I've tested. The the uh, you will probably be surprised when you read the article at which one of these devices will actually give you water for the least amount of money per gallon of water. You have to read the article to find out. Okay, thank you.